escape shot free in London, I fear the shot here. Here's no scoring but upon the pate. Ah! Soft, who are you? Hmm? So Walter Blunt, there's honor for you. <laughs> Here's no vanity. Blood, I'm as hot as molten lead. And as heavy, too. God keep lead out of me. I want no more weight than in my own bowels. I have led my ragamuffins where they are peppered. There's not three of my hundred and fifty left alive. And they're to the town's end to beg during life. Who comes here? What's that, I know here? Let me thy small horn. Oh, my brother, give me leave to breathe a while. Sir Gregory never did such deeds in battle that I have done this day. I have paid Percy. I have made him sure. There is a need, a living, to kill me. I pray thee lend thy sword. Oh, if Percy be alive, thou gets not my sword. But here, take my pistol, if thou wilt. Come, give me what is it in the case. Ah, oh, how? Tis hot, tis hot. There's the Bulsacca city. Oh. Is it a time to jest and dally now? Well, if Percy be alive, I'll pierce him so, if he do come in my way. If I do come in his willingly, let them make a carbonado of me. I like not such grinning on earth Sir Walter hath. Give me life, which if I can save, so if not, honor comes unlooked for. And there's an end. <laughs> I could thee, Harry, withdraw thyself, thou bleach too much. Ah. Lord John of Lancaster, go ah. you with him. Well, I, my lord, unless I get bleed through. Come, my lord, I leave you your tent. Believe me, my lord, I do not need your help. And God forbid a shallow scratch to drive the Prince of Wales from such a field as this. It breathes too long, our duty this way lies. Come, cousin Westmoreland, for God's sake, come. Ah, by God, thou hast deceived me, Lancaster. I did not think thee, lord, of such a spirit. Before I love thee as a brother John, but now I do respect thee as my soul. Another king? They go like Hydra's heads. And the Douglas, fatal to all those who wear those colors on them. What art thou that counterfeits the person of a king? The king himself, who Douglas grieves at heart. So many of his shadows thou hast met. Not the very king. But since thou forced on me so luckily, I will assay thee. Defend myself. I fear thou art another counterfeit, and yet in faith thou bearest me like a king. Mine, I'm sure thou art, whoever thou be. And thus, I win thee! Shall one England brook a double reign of Henry Percy and the Prince of Wales? Or shall it, Harry? 
the hour is come to win the one of us. And would to God thy name and arms when I was clear as mine. I'll make it greater that I part from thee. And all the budding honours on my crest are cropped to make a garland for my head. I can no longer brook thy vanity. Yeah. 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 Robbed me of my youth. A better brook the loss of brittle life than those proud titles thou hast won of me. They wound my thoughts. Worse than thy sword, my flesh. But thoughts the slaves of life. And life times fool. And time that takes away of all the world must have a stop. Oh, I could prophesy. But that the earthy and cold hand of death lies on my tongue. No, Percy. Thou art dust. And food. For whoop! For oh, worms. Brave Percy. Very well, great heart. Ill weaved ambition. How much have thou shrunk? When that this body contain a spirit. A kingdom for it was too small a bound. Now, two paces of the vilest earth is room enough. This earth that bears thee dead, bears not alive so stout a gentleman. If thou wert sensible of courtesy, I would not make so dear a show of zeal. And let my favours. I die mangled face. Adieu. And take thy praise with thee to heaven. What? Old acquaintance? Could not all this flesh keep in a little life? Well, I could have better spared a better man. Why oh, should I have a heavy miss of thee if I were much in love with vanity? And bowed will I see thee by and by. 
Till then in blood, thy noble Percy lies. <laughs>